Hey, how's it going guys? In this episode, we'll be talking about some of the National Historical Artworks that are currently exhibited in the... The National Museum of the Philippines. So first in the list is a painting made by Juan Luna Inovicio that is entitled The Spoliarium. The Spoliarium is a Latin word in which it pertains to a room where the dead gladiators are thrown into. So if you are not familiar what gladiators are, it's actually in the painting. The Spoliarium actually depicts the lives of the gladiators. The gladiators are made to fight each other inside the Colosseum for the entertainment of the Romans. The gladiators are slaves of the Romans. So if you want to familiarize yourself more about this gladiator stuff, this Roman history stuff, you can actually watch a Netflix series that is entitled Spartacus. Spartacus. And you can actually discover more about them. And in regards to the Philippine history, this specific painting also gave a nationalistic symbol to the Philippine people which made them more patriotic and gave them motivation, inspiration to rise up against the Spanish colony in the time of Rizal. Next in the list is a painting made by Felix Resurrection that is also a friend of Juan Luna that is entitled Asesinato del Gobernador Bustamante or in simpler words is the assassination of Governor Bustamante. So the painting actually portrays the assassination of Governor Bustamante because of his aggressive actions regarding the church. So it was actually scary to go against the church in the past times. Yeah. In the list are the drawings of a Spanish pharmacologist named Juan Jose de Cuellar of the Philippines plants. The original copies of these drawings are kept in the archives of the Royal Botanical Garden in Madrid for over a century. And in the year 1988, it was rediscovered by Maria Belenbuenas Llanos. And in the year 1996, led by the King of Spain, Juan Carlos I, it was presented to our previous president, Fidel B. Ramos. Actually, the ones that were presented to our previous president was only the copies of the original drawings now exhibited here, and here they are. Some of the sculptures that are currently exhibited here are made by the Filipino master sculptor named Isabelo El Tampinco who was actually responsible for developing the Estilo Tampinco style of carving and ornamentation. 
out. So, Mr. Tampinko and his sons was actually the one who was responsible for carving the sculptures for the old session hall of this building in the third floor. His style of work is strongly representing the neoclassical style. Also, a gallery that is actually dedicated to our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Portrait busts and paintings of Rizal by eminent Filipino artists from the early 20th centuries. They are Isabello Tampinco, Graciano Nepomuceno, Guillermo Tolentino, and Martino Avellana. Did you also know that Jose Rizal was also a skilled painter and his drawing of the view of gender men mark in berlin was also exhibited in this gallery Rizal was also a skilled sculptor and he has sculptures that are also exhibited here because his sculptures are the bust of ricardo camisero san pablo ermitaño oyang dapitana and mother's revenge that is actually considered as a national treasure or a national cultural treasure. painting the progress of medicine in the philippines by carlos v francisco is also exhibited here the painting actually consists of four parts or four major parts exhibits the drawings of Fernando C. Amorsolo. The gallery actually has 100 drawings of Amorsolo. Most of the paintings by Fernando V. Amorsolo were rural landscapes, seascapes, portraits, indigenous people, and some are made to represent the daily life in the countryside. Those are some of the national historical artworks that are currently exhibited in the National Museum of the Philippines. So in this part, we will be reviewing the submitted research works by our members. And those are the local and international artworks that are prominent in today's generation. So let's go!
Itong printing na ito ay 1999 May gawa ay simple presentation thank you and for the last I'm Mark Valdez your host <laughs> saying goodbye peace out